Today is National Sandwich Day and we're celebrating with a sub that's been enjoyed by Texans for 60 years, Antone's Famous Pool Boys. Tara Newbaum is live at Antone's Nightclub with the story. Good morning, Tara. Good morning to you, Amanda. Yes, 60 years. Congratulations to Antone's Famous Po Boys well, for 60 you. years. That says something about these. What makes them so special, Craig? Well, thanks for having us. Now, these are tried and true recipes that have been started in Houston, but uh, Texans have loved for 60 years. And what makes them really special is a very unique French bread uh, and our condiments that we put on them. But uh, it's, they're proven and, and uh, you know, great product. Absolutely, we love them. It's funny because I always just see them at the store in the packages. We're getting to see them made firsthand on Good Day Austin this morning, so this is fun. And we're at Antone's Nightclub. This is a fun, right. just collaboration. Can you talk about the connection between Antone's famous Po Boys and our beloved Antone's uh, Nightclub here in Austin? So Jalal Antone uh, started Antone's Import Company in Houston in 1962. It was Mediterranean with the olives and spices and, and things like that, but he decided he needed a sandwich to get more business. A friend of his told him that he needed to put a condiment on the sandwich that Southerners would like, and that was the evolution of chow chow, which is really our famous chow chow relish that's uh, on the sandwich. And then the pickles and spices that are involved uh, just make this a, a, a great product. It's really interesting because Houstonians used to, with the Antones Import Company, line up around the block. Love it. They sold thousands a day back in the 70s and we were able to expand the distribution and uh, bring them to more Texans. Yeah, so then there, there was a store on the drag, if I'm correct, and then... Yes, yes. So Clifford Antone, who was Jalal's nephew, came over to the University of Texas here in 1969, I believe, opened a sandwich shop on the drag in the 70s, but he loved the blues, and he decided to close the sandwich shop and come and open an, a nightclub, which has become Antone's nightclub. Well, and so it's the same family, and so it's great to bring food and music together. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great way to, to uh, for the brand to evolve. Just an incredible story. We love to bring food and music together, absolutely. And concert goers here at Antone's can enjoy the subs. Which one is your favorite? Can you break down a couple of them for us? Yeah, so, you know, the tuna recipe, we make this tuna every day in our commissary. It's the same tuna that Jalal made in the 60s. It's a wonderful product. That I like that one. And my other favorite is turkey and Swiss. And what makes that unique is our sweet and spicy pickles that we put on the product. Product. Always the sauce. The secret is in the sauce. Absolutely. I love it, Craig. Chef, you're killing it. And uh, I'm going to get my gloves on, Amanda. We'll check back in with you guys in the 8 o'clock hour. Make some subs. Might even have a little delivery for you guys in the newsroom. So uh, stay tuned. We'll check back in. But just love the story behind music and food. And happy National Sandwich Day. Who doesn't love a good sandwich? Mm, on French bread, nonetheless, with a good, good spread oh, there. The bread oh. itself smells just phenomenal yeah. this yeah. morning. I mean, the bread itself. <laughs> It's a meal. Uh, Tiara, thank you.